Hi everyone, so today we're going to continue our study of similar polygons and what this has to do with this ratios and proportions we've been working with. But I want you to consider this question. Research scientists use microscopes in their labs to study characteristics of blood cells that are not apparent to the naked eye. Why do they use a microscope? I think now, now more than ever we know there's so many scientists using microscopes. The reason they use a microscope is because they can make this, sh this shape smaller without actually changing its characteristics. They are actually looking at a similar figure of a blood, a blood cell or a virus cell. So a similarity is when you've got two figures that may have the same shape but may not be the same size. Take a look at these butterflies. They look very, very similar, but we would say they are in proportion we would not say that they are congruent. And so that's going to be where our study takes us today. So similar objects are basically the same shape, exact same shape, but they're different sizes. We say that they're similar. So like, I mean, you probably never thought about it, but like a pizza, that circle, the small, the medium, and the large, they're proportional. Um, Mini-me, proportional. Triangles, proportional. Kites, proportional. So that let's, um, let's extend that and talk about what a similar polygon is, okay? So similar polygons, actually, let me, let me start a new page here. Similar polygons, let's just define it. Have the same shape, or are the same shape, okay? but the sides are in proportion. And I know in your Desmos activity, what you noticed though was regardless of the side lengths in those triangles, the angle measure did not change. The angle stayed the same. And so when you're looking at a similar polygons, all the angles will remain congruent. And that can get tricky because that means we have congruent think parts in similar figures and then we also have proportional parts or things that are in the same ratio. All right, so how do we figure all of this out? Well, first of all, we have to be able to correspond based on what we call a similarity statement. So this is a similarity statement. Triangle sit is similar to triangle dog. That statement, not the diagrams themselves, that statement tells me what corresponds. So for example, angle D is going to correspond to angle S. So same location in the sit statement. Angle O is going to match up with angle I. Angle G is going to match up with angle T. Now, the segments are also going to match up based on that order. So DO is going to match up with SI. IT is going to match up with OG. And ST is going to match up with DG. Now, again, the angles will be congruent. The sides will be in proportion. So if the angles are congruent and I tell you that angle S is 25 degrees, well then I know that S corresponds to D, so angle D will also be 25 degrees. Okay, so that's a little bit about correspondence. So let's look at this together. Here's a similar polygon. Let me see if I can move this over a little. There we go. Here's a similar polygon. And it says complete the congruence and proportion statements in the diagram below. The first thing I do though is I want to look at the similarity statement because that tells me what corresponds. So I can see that angle B corresponds to angle G. So they're congruent. Angle E corresponds to, ah, look, it corresponds to itself because it's in both figures. We call that a reflexive angle. So angle E corresponds to angle E, so it would be congruent. And angle D corresponds to angle I, so angle D and angle I would be congruent. 
All right, now we look at the parts. Now again, remember the sides couldn't be congruent because they're different sizes. All right, so the proportion that would work would be then that AB over FG, because they correspond, would be equal to GH over BC. So I can actually write a proportion if I have a couple of the sides to find the missing sides. Let's see some more. AE over FE, okay, so that works, corresponds to ED, okay, ED over IE. So ED to IE. All right, last one. Oh, this one's harder. So let me erase a little bit here. DC. Okay, so I want to see, DC is in the bigger polygon. I want to see what it corresponds to. So DC corresponds to um, IH, okay? So IH. So if I wanted to write a proportional relationship, then it would be EI that I have right here to then ED. So that's how you take a similarity statement and write congruent statements and proportions. Um, and also, obviously, ratios. All right, let's look. Let's take a look. The figures below are similar. Find the similarity ratio in any missing parts. Okay, so I forgot to mention. A similarity ratio is another, what I like to refer to it, is the scale factor. The scale factor, meaning the, the ratio between the two figures. Now, you could go from the small figure to the large figure or the large figure to the small figure. That doesn't really matter, okay? So first, I always tell students, find the scale factor and then find the missing parts. Okay, so let's look at this first one. I look at the figure and I can see the correspondence based on the congruent angles. And then I find um, a side that I have in both figures. So I have a 5 here and a 10 here. So they correspond. So that tells me that the similarity ratio would be 5 to 10 or 1 to 2. Now, the scale factor or similarity ratio, I use the variable k um, just to indicate that. So k is 1 half. So now, if I have my similarity uh, ratio or my scale factor, I can write a proportion. I can say 1 to 2, this to this, has to equal x to 4. Nice easy one right there for you, right? Okay, so then I can see that I don't even have to do any real math here. I can use equal ratios. 2 times 2 gives me 4, so 1 times 2 is going to give me x, so 2. So x would be 2. Okay, let's do it again. Here we go. Um, I've got my ratio. of I know my scale factor is 1 to 2, and I want to find y, so I can set up proportion, proportion 3 to y. All right, so I know that 1 times 3 gives me 3, so 2 times 3 is going to give me all right, so I'm going to stop there, and your second video is going to pick back up on that second question. Have a great day.